Tuesday marked the second anniversary of the toppling of former President Mohamed Morsi. For many, it was supposed to be a day of celebration. Instead, it was a day of mourning for the man who prosecuted Morsi and thousands of his supporters. Hisham Barakat received an official and military funeral, attended by top officials, including President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. We will not wait for this. We will not wait for this. We will amend the legislation in a way that will enable us to enforce the law and justice as quickly as possible. We'll bring justice as quickly as possible. Within days, the laws will be presented, the right laws of criminal procedures that parallel the developments that we are facing. We are facing terrorism, therefore there must be laws that parallel that and trials that parallel that. We will not take five to ten years to try those killing us. They give out the orders from their prison cells and their orders become reality while carrying out the law. We will respect the law, but we will amend it so that it's parallel to what we are facing. There is sadness in the country. We miss this matter and we tell the terrorists that their actions and terrorism will not prevail. Latest investigations reveal that a car packed with a half a ton of explosives was detonated by remote control as Barakat's convoy passed by. A group allegedly affiliated to Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood has claimed responsibility. Many Egyptians are outraged. It is not fair that we face such bombings and innocent people are killed and in the holy month of Ramadan as well. It's against our Islam that prohibits us from killing at all. Tuesday was an official holiday, but all celebrations were cancelled. The Muslim Brotherhood vowed to go to the streets on the second anniversary of the uprising. They want to reinstate Mohamed Morsi as president. There was extensive police presence in the streets to avert any possible attacks. Vital installations and Tahrir Square were heavily protected. Experts say there must be more efforts to combat terrorism. Combating terrorism is not only by police, security and the justice system. It's a collective effort. All the civil society, NGOs and government institutions, they should work hand in hand with all Egyptian people to bring an end to terrorism. After a bloody Monday, it's been a relatively quiet day on Tuesday. But the country is still bracing for any expected violence till the 3rd of July. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.